Good everyone, you're watching Rate You Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Spotlight in Windows 11. Now, the Spotlight is a Windows uh, 10 feature uh, where you cannot download a feature that can download various pictures from Bing and displays the images on the login or a lock screen. It also allows the users to give feedback if they like the image or not. However, uh, many users have reported that they see the same picture each time they lock the login especially after upgrading to Windows 11. Now there are a couple of uh, steps which you need to follow in order to fix the problem. So the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to make sure that you have an active internet connection. So in case if you're seeing the same image um, in the on the lock screen even after having the spotlight feature turned on, make sure you have an active internet connection. Um, I'll, the best way to check is open the browser and see if you're able to access any website. So um, see if, if that's working. Um, then the second step is to make sure you turn off the metered connection. So let's see how to turn off the metered connection. So what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button. Click on settings. Once you click on settings, uh, you will have to go ahead and select uh, the network and internet on the left hand side. Once you're on the selected network and internet on the left hand side, you will have to select your connection, your network connection, which you're connected to. In my case, I have connected to a Wi-Fi connection. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and expand the uh, Ethernet section. Once, once you're on the Ethernet section, make sure the metered connection is turned off in case if it is on you will have to toggle and make sure it has been set to turn off so once it is done um, then you can try to lock your computer screen and see if the spotlight features work in uh, see if uh, the images changes now even after turning off the metered connection uh, if it still doesn't work if the images image doesn't change the next thing is you will have to go ahead and uh, uninstall the bit defender now there has been instances and a lot of instances where the bit defender is causing this problem so bit defender is nothing but but an antivirus security software you you might want to go ahead and uninstall it so in order to uninstall bit defender what you will do is uh, you will click on the Click on the search button or you may press windows and r key uh, to easily accessible you click on the search and go ahead and type app viz dot cpl and click on ok that will open up the programs and features window basically it will allow you to uninstall um, the softwares which are currently installed on your machine now under this list look for bit defender that is bit defender I would mention the um, name in the video description. So if you find Bitdefender under under this list, go ahead and uninstall it. Once you have uninstalled Bitdefender, you can you may go ahead and restart your computer and check if uh, the spotlight feature is working. Now, now even after uninstalling Bitdefender, if you're still facing a problem, the next step what I would suggest is to go ahead and re-register Spotlight using powershell now the spotlight on windows 11 not working issue can be triggered by a potential inconsistency to fix you can re-register the spotlight using powershell now this method has been prov uh, proven by many people to be useful uh, so let's go ahead and try this feature so in order to re-register windows spotlight what you will have to do is you will have to click on the search and type powershell Now here you will have to do open as an administrator so you can do a right click and run as administrator or you may click on run as administrator under this section. So what I will do is I'll go ahead and click on run as administrator. In case if you get user access prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now once you're on the PowerShell uh, which is uh, in the elevated uh, PowerShell window what you will have to do is you will have to copy the command i will mention the command in the video description you can pick it up from there so what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click click on edit or paste or you can use Control v on the keyboard this is the command what you need to follow to uh, re-register the powershell so once it is done you will have to go ahead and 
hit enter once you hit enter you will see that there are a couple of uh, the command would go ahead and run and uh, it says that the operation is completed for uh, this message so once you see this message you may go ahead and close the powershell restart your computer and check if the windows spotlight feature is working in case if it's not working then you may go ahead for the next step the next step is to go ahead and adjust your time and date so if your time and date are not set properly you may encounter the spotlight not working issue so in order to do that what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the time and date click on adjust date and time once you're on this page uh, make sure set time automatically is been turned on and under this section also make sure your time zone is correct it is set appropriate so it depends on what region you are make sure it has been set appropriate in my case it would be a uh, plus 530 so in my in your case it could be different based on what region you are in current region in and once that is done the next thing is you will have to make sure the language and regions are set appropriately so go to language and region under language and region uh, make sure your country or region has been set right in my case it is india and um, the regional format make sure it has been set as um, the appropriate one like i said since i'm based in india my case it would be english india in your case it could be dif different based on what region you are in when you're watching this video so once that has been done uh, restart the computer and check if the windows spotlight feature is working now even after trying all this step if uh, if you're still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and re-enable spotlight in windows 11 now to do that what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button go to settings under settings you will have to go ahead and select personalization once you're on the personalization click on the lock screen option on the right hand side click on this arrow now on this page uh, make sure personalize your lock screen is being set to either picture or a slide so you can choose in your uh, here and make sure show the lock screen in the background picture of the screen is being turned on and um, re restart your computer and check if the windows spotlight feature has been working you can lock the computer and try to un uh, and check if the spotlight feature is working now even after trying all this step in case um, if you're not able to if the issue does if you still persist then the next step what you need to do is you will have to go ahead and delete the spotlight cache now in order to delete the spotlight cache um, there are a couple of steps what you need to do and i will also mention the command line in the description so to do that what you will have to do is uh, you will have to go ahead and uh, click on the start button in the start button go ahead and type cmd basically what we are doing is we are opening the command prompt here and open the command prompt in the elevated mode so you will have to click on run as administrator so either you can click on run as administrator or you can do a right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator in case if you get uh, the user access prompt you may click on yes or continue so there are um, two commands what you need to follow like i said i'm going to mention these command line in the video description so this is the first command you do a right click and uh, paste and hit enter so once you see this command hit enter that would go ahead and delete the uh, yeah copy the command from the uh, video description and you can do a right click on the command prompt and that should uh, bring the uh, command what you have copied in the command prompt window and hit enter once this is done um, what you will have to do is you will have to open the powershell window so like, like i showed you earlier so in order to open powershell what you will have to do is you will, you will have to click on search and type powershell do a right click and click on run as administrator click on yes or continue on the screen 
Now you will have to run this command. Uh, let me put that command in the video description. So once you have the uh, PowerShell window open, what you will have to do is you will have to copy the uh, command from the video description. You can do a right click, click on edit and click on paste. And um, this is the command which we will uh, go ahead and use to run or use to re-register the PowerShell again. Once this is done, what you, will lead, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and once the command has been completed, uh, ran, has been executed successfully, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and uh, try to check if um, the uh, spotlight feature is working. Now, even after trying all the steps, if the spotlight features are not working, then what you will have to do is you will have to run the system maintenance uh, troubleshooter uh, on your machine. So in order to do that, what you will have to do is you will have to open control panel. So click on the search and type control panel open control panel under the uh, control panel if you are on the different views uh, make sure you are being set as uh, small icons or large icons so once you are on this section change it from category view to smaller large icons once you are on this section go ahead and look for troubleshooting so it would be in alphabetical order you would find right under this section once you're on troubleshooting window click on system and security that is right here and here security once you're on this six, uh, section click on system maintenance once you're on the system maintenance uh, you will have to click on advanced and click on next once you're on next uh, try troubleshooting as administrator so the uh, inbuilt troubleshooter or a system maintenance window will try to search for the fix and see if there is any uh, fix which can be applied in my case since the spotlight is working i would see the message saying that the troubleshooting is completed in your case it could be a different scenario so once this is done uh, once the troubleshooting uh, steps has been completed here by the system maintenance, you got to go ahead and restart the computer and check if the spotlight is working. Now, even after this, the, if the spotlight feature is still not working, the next step, what I would suggest you is to go ahead and clear the spotlight assets. So there are a couple of, um, you will have to go to, to the spotlight asset location so what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and delete them so you will have to go ahead and press windows and e on your keyboard that will take you to the uh, windows explorer section paste this command here and hit enter that will take you to the spotlight assets um, section so here, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and select everything. You can delete it. Once you have deleted the assets, uh, what I would suggest is to restart the computer and check if the Windows Spotlight feature is working. Once um, this should basically solve a problem. In case if this doesn't solve a problem, then I would suggest you to run the SFC scan on the computer. Now, if none of the above methods work, then the Windows 11 Spotlight uh, could be caused by a system file corruption so it is likely that if you run an SFC scan this should fix a problem to run an SFC scan what you will have to do is you will have to open command prompt in the elevated mode so in the search section open the search window and go ahead and type command prompt click on run as administrator in case in case if you get a user access prompt you may click on yes or continue in the command prompt what you will have to do is you will have to type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter now once the sfc scan is completed uh, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer basically what this will do is it will try to go ahead and repair any of the files the dll in case if there are any dll files which are corrupted it will try to repair by itself and um, that should fix a problem and once you restart the computer uh, try to check if the spotlight feature is working that should solve the problem in case if you still face a problem then i would suggest you to 
uh, leave me a comment in the comment section probably i will come up with a possible solution so i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day